Well, hello folks. Thought I'd uh, do a video here. You see, my brother requested that I do a simple video on showing up, showing how to put together a layout. And this is something quick and simple here. As you see in front of you is a little end table. Well, I got that uh, second hand. So it didn't cost me anything, especially during this time where the wood and everything is costing an arm and a leg. And this is already a base already built. Though, I did have to spend some money on stuff that I got. This is going to be a uh, box opening as well for this video. I stepped in front of the light here. I'm blind! I gotta back that thing up a little bit. There! Not directly in my face. I picked up some green matting which I see is not enough to cover the table but I can go down through the center of it. This way I can set my coffee on the corner of the table. Hey! A mistake that paid off. Woohoo! Talking about coffee, I should get me a cup. Oh, I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to tack this down. This way it's quick and simple. Because a lot of people just don't have the money and resources for buying all the stuff at once. Thus, the penny, nickel, and dime is growing once again. Uh, if I put it that way, I wouldn't have room for my coffee cup to set on it, but it would cover more of the table. If I center it up, that will be good. Okay. Center it up and stretch it out. That'll be good. I got thumbtacks here. Excuse me for a minute, folks. There we go. I'm out of the way. I'm just going to thumbtack it down to the table. This is going to be a quick and dirty way to set up a running track. Not a major... Uh, operation or anything of that nature just hey I got something to run some trains on especially for the winter time when the garage is cold and I'm not wanting to take up as much room as my whoops that solved that problem with that thumbtack it may not thumbtack in there very easily let me get a different one here. We're going to see if I can smash my fingers. There's the hole I had. Take a hammer. And that took care of that thumbtack. Hold on folks, I'm going to use some nails. As you see, I'm learning as I go, <laughs> which is all right. Uh, there we go. I got some nails here. <laughs> now let's see if I can really bloody my fingers. I mean, uh, <laughs> Go with the smaller ones here. I don't think I need railroad spikes to go through. Hold it. Well, those flat heads might hold it better than the finishing tags. So let's go with the flat headed nail here. He'll hold the paper a little better. And I don't think it's going to, well, it might go all the way through the board. But, there we go. Uh, 
If I angle it back a ways, it should go through in a different way. Yeah, that'll work better. Pull the wrinkles out of this. That, that way. I'm working on just the edge of it. This way, in case I have to redo it sometime, I can. Something quick, simple, and neato, <laughs> as I used to say as a kid. Oh, neato! Cool! Wow! Oh. <laughs> Stretch that out tight. There's that nail. Come on. Get in there. There we go. There's always that one. Ha! And it ripped through. Okay, I'm going to have to redo that. Maybe not such an angle there. Just something quick and simple and dirty here. <laughs> Get something going. Yeah. Aha! First smashing of the fingers. out of it but not all of them okay put that there and what we're going to be putting down here is a Bachman North Fork and Southern train set let me come a little closer hopefully that will focus in on that I don't know if it will with the glare from the light and everything else we got odd light in here today and it's got the easy track. This is the type of easy track I like to use. It don't have the little uh, pin system like this here. It's got the little hook on the end. Those little pins have a tendency of breaking. And this is set up where you can put the switches and stuff like that in. But I'm just doing a quick, simple, dirty setup here, just to have something run around. You know, we got the green there. We can put trees in. We can put buildings in. Decorate it up a little bit, and still 
have something that looks nice. The way I got it set up right now, we'll be able to even possibly set our small Christmas tree right in the center. Not have to dig out all of my tree equipment, which will make my wife happier to run something around the base of the tree and still be able to put presents on the lower shelf here during the Christmas season. Alrighty. We have our usual list of contents sheet which is good. Bachman's good about that. They definitely package it up good too. And they had notices about small parts and kids, so definitely if you have kids, you might uh, want to hold off for a while, because it is a choking hazard. And you got your instructions here and how to set it up, your warranty card, which comes in handy at times. Uh, if you want a uh, Bachman Trains Williams uh, brochure slash catalog, there you go. And this gives you the basic exploded view of what your locomotive looks like inside. In case, Lord forbid, you have to tear it apart. <laughs> and, uh, we're on college. Lord forbid. Uh, uh, because, guess what? Them parts are small. This is end scale here. My brother does end scale. And he wanted me to do a video on showing how to set it up. There's the track on the back of it. I already opened up the front. Let's see if I can do this without dumping everything out. There we go. There's the track. Mm. I'm going to have to get my pocket knife out. They do like their tape. There's that. Oh, come on. There. And here is your end scale track. If I can get it out of here. They pack it in pretty tight. There we go. As you see, it's got a little hook on here and the tabs go in straight rather than from the side, which makes it a little easier for putting it together. And then you put these twisties on there. So if you got kids, watch out for these twisties as well. Those go in the garbage. There is your power supply track. And like my brothers, the connections are covered by a piece of plastic. I don't know if I got that in the screen or not. I, I am my cameraman and everything else. I'm going to put that back toward the back because the plug ends over here. Actually, I could put it over here to the side as well, which sounds like a good idea. I'm going to get the track all out. And do just that. As you can tell, I'm going to have to do some cleaning of the front room once I get this all thrown together. And you can attach the track to your table because it does have a space for a very, very small nail down through the center piece of the track. I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't have a flashlight this side to show, but it does have the one hole in the center of that track. And 
and get all these pieces of track out here. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do this without breaking anything. Because I'm used to working with O scale and HO. I have not messed with N scale. So this is my first N scale set. I shouldn't say that. I helped my ex-wife with an end scale circle around her dollhouse, which was pretty nice. And I didn't have to set up the track on another piece, so technically this style track is my first. So I had to correct myself there. Jumped up Jehoshaphat. Mm, they didn't want that one coming loose. Okay, I'm going to come over here and start putting these pieces together. Put them on a flat surface. Line up your, line up your track connections and your connection for your base so that you'll get power through to your rail and also your base will be secure. Make sure your rail connections are right. This may be bigger than my table surface. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be just a hair bigger. So I just might need to put something on the surface here. I got something out in the garage that just might help. <sighs> yeah, it's even bigger than my green. end this video here and change this up a bit. We'll see you in a minute or two.